Hey, I hope you all had a good Christmas. But, you know, I was always told that Boxing Day was meant to box up all your Christmas decorations and put them away. But now, you don't do that anymore. But, maybe you need to box up all those bad habits you learned during the holiday season. No matter what has gone on, I knew that I'd go out to the company I worked for, Christmas party, and they had a buffet, and you know, I'd fill up my plate, and I ate an awful lot of carbs, and it just kept kind of rolling throughout the year, and you know what? I'm not the only one. I know we all get into this habit, but it's time if you have slept during the holiday season, it's time you know, get back to sensible meals. Get back to drinking right. Like, drinking right. Sorry, that sounds like, yeah, we'll go to the bar and we'll drink right. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about getting fluids, uh, doing your blood test, taking your medication properly. <laughs> but, uh, so often we tend to Oh well, I've gone too far now. It's too hard to get up and do it all over again. And instead, you're waking up every hour, it seems like, and having to go to the washroom. Come on. That's not... That's not a life. But yeah, I can drink all the pop I want. But it's also hurting your body. I know. I lived that life. And I kept trying to talk myself, oh, it's okay. My blood sugar's okay. And then I tried to do my blood sugars and try to get back into diabetic shape didn't always work well so now I try to do everything which my doctors and nurses all would like me to do so yes you you know yes you may have partied yes you may have put on a little extra weight but trust me get back on the horse and go for it because you will feel better your body will thank you and you're probably going to have less complications oh my god now I'm not saying that you need to go out and need to go to a gym and you know just run all the time and you can do a lot of things at home which can help you um, I have a meal service but I didn't get that meal service because of Christmas I got the meal service pretty much that I know I have for a week I have meals in my refrigerator and trust me this company doesn't even know I'm saying this that it's good for you it's good for you most of their stuff is pretty well freshly made you pop it in your microwave it cooks it's ready to eat within minutes hmm you know I wish years ago I had known about this but I was at home in my younger days when going to college and my mom would always make sure you know, I'd 
Then I go work nights at 7-Eleven and oops, I may have indulged in a few sandwiches or, you know, when there's no one coming in, you've done all your chores, you kind of, just kind of, blah, and... I was hard on my body, but since then I moved on and I know that I can take care of myself each and every day and yes I have high blood sugars and low blood sugars. But, you know, you don't need to worry if one day you're out of whack. But if you've been out of whack for a few days, it can be hard to get back into whack. And I would say, do it. Just get back on this start at a starting por point, port, point, and move from there. Do the positive things. It says it takes about a month for your body to learn of a new habit. And people have said, oh, I've been doing that habit for so long. Well, you know what? You probably have. But 30 days, if you're able to keep up with things for 30 days, you're forming a new habit. I have an awful lot of experience with diabetes. I would say practical experience. I've learned from the doctors over the years, from my diabetic nurses over the years. And that's what I try to portray to you. But if something ever seems totally radical to you, check it out before you start. If you really want to start something, you know, make sure that you're making sure that things are safe for you. Ask your doctor. Ask the dietitian. There's many resources out there. Now, no one really likes to lose weight. Everyone says, oh, what's your... Uh, what is it called? I can't think of it. Where you make a promise to yourself. It starts with an R. That you're going to live by in the new year. Well, don't wait for the new year. Do it now. Don't make promises to yourself. Because chances are you're going to break these promises. And, you know, every time you fail at trying to get good control you need to step it up and go on and continue to make better choices better control because your body's going to thank you in the long run and it took me a while to get into these thick skull but now that I have, I hope all of you are picking up something out of my videos and going and asking your doctor about it. Nothing's worse than, you know, using someone else's prescription medication. It's the same difference. If you need to get up every day and start taking care of you and then one day you know you go out and you have a big dinner and oh your whole diet's ruined but you know what that minute as soon as you realize it you're going to start again you're going to make a plan to get your blood sugars under control you're going to make a plan because you need to do this. 
it's as simple as that and I think everyone would probably have a better life if they did this so now that the holiday spirits and well Christmas time's over we still have one big one New Year's and I'll do a talk on New Year's Eve but you have to take care of your diabetes first and foremost yeah other people don't have to do it but you know what people with cancer don't have to take shots but they have so much more they have to endure so take it easy and remember those thoughts I hope you had a good one Talk to you later. Bye.